that good. That was worth a drive. All right guys, so today I wanted to be doing a uh, POV driving video in this. It's my uh, JDM imported Integra Type R. Um, I've never done like a POV drive video before, so I just thought I'd go ahead and try it. So I'm standing in Countdown Car Park right now with a GoPro on my head. Um, but yeah, this is the car. So for the guys who are new to the channel and haven't seen this car, you should check out my other video where I talk you through some of the mods. But just to go over it real quick, it's basically a stock red top K20A engine. Um, I've got a k and filter, a exhaust, but it's just like a muffler delete, some NKR PF1 wheels with endless brake pads, braided lines, uh, it's an upgraded clutch, and a few other little bits and bobs, but essentially it's a stock uh, Integra Type R. Um, just a really nice one, if I, do, if I don't say so myself. So I'll pop the hood real quick and give you guys a quick look under. Turn the lights off now. The key out. These uh, bonnet releases are always a bit tricky. But there she is. So just a, a red top K20 engine. I've obviously got to clean this up. Oh yeah, I've got a K and crankcase breather. Haven't noticed a difference since I installed it, but it's probably not going to be doing it any harm. So there we go. Go for a quick look around the back. That's those NK RPF ones. Calipers need repainting. But yeah, that's the car. So we'll go ahead and go out for a drive. Make sure it's in neutral. Uh, so I've obviously never done one of these types of videos before. That's the Japanese uh, toll gate thing. Um, I've never done one of these types of videos before. I don't know if this is even going to work out, but let's go ahead and try it. Um, that fucking intro was quite awkward because there's people over there laughing at me. Um, but, you know, you got to go ahead and do it. So the car's already kind of warm because I just drove it down here 10 minutes, but I'm still going to take it easy for the first few minutes. So this is just a cruise anyway. So right now I'm in a place called Silverdale. This is like five minutes away from my house. Uh, and I'm going to drive down to Albany, just like a 20 minute drive. I just, I haven't driven the car. Uh, this week and I fancy driving it So and I thought I can go and pick up some food because I'm always hungry But yeah, so I thought I'd just start in this underground car park. I took some videos while I was here I can get out this way. Yeah I think it's right turn early out of here, so we're gonna go right. But yeah, this is Silverdale And those are my endless brake pads squealing. I don't know if it will pick it up on GoPro But I hope it does because it's ridiculous This car is probably the most difficult car I've ever owned to drive, um, just because the clutch is so heavy. And I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but at low RPM, it's it's really jerky. Like the car kind of always feels like it's going to stall. Um, so it just takes a, like a lot of clutch control, but the clutch is super, super heavy. I'm not quite sure what clutch is in it, but uh, it's, it's really nice. I do quite like it. One thing I probably will end up doing at some point in this video is flicking on the uh, wipers when I mean to flick on the indicators because the this is a Japanese imported car which means the indicators are on the right and the wipers are on the left whereas my other car is the other way around and all the cars I drive work are the other way around so I always kind of uh, mix it up and I'll mean to indicate like when I'm changing lane fast and I put the wiper on it's like ah oh, fuck. Exhaust wise on this car, the previous owner tells me it's just like a, a rear muffler that's been changed. Um, and it sounds pretty quiet when you're just cruising around, uh, but when I get onto VTEC, you'll hear it. It's uh, definitely a lot louder. So, the route I'm planning to take uh, to go down to uh, Albany is a road, uh, East Coast Road. It's a country road, um, but the problem is there's no street lights like there is now. So, I'm not sure if there's going to be enough lighting for the video. Uh, but I hope there is. So we've obviously got uh, mechanical power steering, hydraulic power steering, with a six-speed manual gearbox, um, and it's just a super raw driving steering. I wouldn't say the steering's heavy, 
uh, my Mini Cooper S, the R53 supercharged one I had, the steering was definitely heavier on that. But it's just so direct. I think this is the only car I've ever owned with a LSD as well, um, which I, I put down sort of that steering feel to the fact that it's an LSD. I have driven other LSD cars actually though, so I don't know. I just fucking love it. It's so cool. And this is just the... This is exactly what I always kind of wanted, you know, going out for a nighttime cruise in a Japanese car. It's just awesome. Uh, but we're about to take a turning on the left here, which is going onto East Coast Road. Um, but yeah, we're about to go into a higher speed limit zone. You know what, why don't we just go ahead and do a VTEC pull? Because everybody, everybody loves a good VTEC pull. into 
light. Um, I don't know if the, those dark sections were going to be too dark to see. Hopefully they weren't. I'm going to go ahead and put the heated rear window on because it's steamed up my rear window as well. Uh, but we're going into uh, so the North Shore now. So I'm going to drive through North Cross. Uh, and the roads I'm about to go on are literally like two minutes away from my childhood home where I grew up. Uh, when we first lived in New Zealand when I was a kid so it's always quite weird to come back here especially in an Integra type R like, I'd, like back when I lived here as a kid I didn't even know anything about cars really I used to watch Top Gear um, and that was about it and I moved to I got into cars sort of when I was like 14 uh, well like 13 14 after I watched Fast and Furious um, and then moved to the UK and like got proper proper into cars out there come back and I'm a mechanic and I got the, the car all, like always wanted and stuff which is crazy so yeah but oh Subaru WRX right there that's another car I need to have again one day I have my blue Subi in the UK um, but because over in the UK you have to legally have insurance so I, my insurance went from £1,900 which was ridiculous anyway per year to £5,500 for a 19 year old on a Subaru WRX um, which is just completely ridiculous like I could not afford that at all and the fact that it was all rotted as well because it's a Subaru and Japanese cars in the UK they just can't handle it because they sold the roads out there um, which just eats away at the cars yeah just down there is where I used to live as a kid I might stop off at one of these uh, petrol stations for some photos as well I don't need any petrol at all but uh, it just looks cool those brakes, man, are so ridiculous. I bet everyone thinks this is a piece of shit. just the right height where I don't scrape. So here we are, this is Albany. I just thought, I really fancy going for a drive and I was like, you know what, I'll just stop by Albany. Yeah, the park and ride, uh, Albany bus station, there's quite a few car meets on there sometimes. I might actually just pull in and have a quick look and see if there's anyone about. Just cause I think it'd be cool. I think, just look how cool this all looks, all lit up. That's a cool restaurant. I mean, I wouldn't go there to eat. I'm just looking for car, car photo locations, so. But yeah, the bus stations in New Zealand, the bus is a really popular service just because of congestion, really. There's too much traffic. Don't think there's any car meets out here tonight, though. Just looks like NPCs. Look how busy it is. Where is everyone going? I don't know, I think it's just because it's dark it makes me think it's a lot later than it is. It's only half eight. Um, so it's winter here in New Zealand right now, so it's dark at this time, but in the summertime, it's still bright for another like two hours. You're all good. 
uh, but winter here is still not even that bad. So today it was like 15 degrees, nice sun out. Um, I was taking photos of the car and everything, like it's great. But uh, I just had other stuff to do. I wonder if you can see on camera over there, you probably can't, there's a big lake there um, with a load of like sculptures and stuff like that. And then just over there is a big rugby stadium. Um, well, I don't know if they just, no, they don't just do rugby. I've been there for other stuff. But yeah, this is Albany Mall. Quite posh. I didn't realise how posh it was as a kid until I uh, moved to the UK and went to Telford. <laughs> uh, good old Telford. Look how nice that is. That's just super... Almost, almost missed that speed bump. That's just super nice. I don't think we're going to get any photos in Albany Car Park. Oh, jeez. I thought it was going to be dead. Silverdale was a lot quieter. No, I don't think I'm going to be going in there. Cruise through, we'll head down to the uh, pack and save down here. I might stop off at the warehouse. I oh, was bus lane ahead. I wonder how much of this you can actually see, but uh, you know, if you go out in the day, you won't have uh, nearly as clear a roads. Put the window down for a bit on roasting. Oh, I'm tempted to stop us at McDonald's, but uh, nah, I'll go pack and say it would be cheaper. GoPro says it's still recording, but uh, I'm not sure if it is. The screen's frozen. Anyways, we we're pulling in. Quite busy here as well, to be fair. Man, I haven't been in this car park since I was like 10 years old. Oh, Skyline! Cheeky skyline. I would park next to it, but there's a bit of a bollard in the way. I normally like parking over to the back on my own. We saw one Jap car though. We did see one. I'm uh, I'm not making art when I say they're everywhere. But do you know what else is everywhere? Which weren't everywhere when I was a kid. Golfs. Honestly, golfs are everywhere. It's crazy. The Euro scene has got so much more popular since I left. I thought those might have been two car guys down there, but just some NPCs. We'll go ahead and park it just over here. This middle spot's looking good to me. Oh, I would have gone over there, but those bollards were kind of in the way. I'm going to put it in reverse just to flex. I got a reverse camera. Um, I was going to see how far I am to the line, but I think I need to go a little bit forward. forward. Oh, and now I'll just let it idle for a bit. I always like to let my cars warm up and cool down. Um, I'm quite a good owner. I mean, I did some VTEC pulls on the way here. Don't know if you've clocked this. 235,106 kilometers on this thing. Crazy, and it's still running so strong. I'll check my oil and stuff before I get going. But we're going inside and uh, get something to eat. I've deserved it. All right. Got myself a milky bar. <laughs> <laughs> Drove all the way down here for a milky bar. I'm not normally a milky bar kind of guy, but I thought I'd try something. Well, not try it because I fancied it, but like, just get something different. That's broken in half already. Oh, fuck. That's good. That was worth the drive. Mm. How cool is that? <laughs> I love this fucking thing, man. I kind of want to turbo this. I think if I did a turbo build, that'd be sick. Um, and actually, if you made it this far into the video, comment whether or not I should do a turbo build. Let's see how many of you watch all the way to the end. Probably not many. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is just an excuse for me to go. Go out for a drive in the car. I'm glad I did it. Let me know if you guys liked the uh, POV nighttime drives. Next one I do, I'll probably end up going to the city or something because the city is really cool at night. But I want to go when I go with my mate who's got an actual decent camera and I can take some photos of my car. So we'll do that. But I'm going to go ahead, eat my monkey bar, drive home, take the motorway home and chill. I'm not in the mood to really thrash this car proper tonight. It's not really safe on these back roads. It's too dark. And I kind of just want to cruise. I came out, got some cool photos of my car. That's all I'm really fussed about. But if you guys like this video, let me know. I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. The next video will not be in this car. It'll be in something different. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one.